and welcome back folks to another exciting episode of Fallout 3. I have recovered. Make a trade? Well, yes, I have recovered from my time in the Dunwich building, at least outwardly. And uh, we're here near Megaton with Crazy Wolfgang, another caravan trader we have not encountered as yet. Let's talk to him now. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's traveling junk store. The depot of detritus, the shop of slump, and the caravan of crap. Now, what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? He's crazy. I like him. And he likes alliterations. That night. That's very nice, too. So, yeah, I'm here to buy. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Assuming you need the random junk that I've got. Yeah, very random junk. And schematics. I'm gonna buy those. Very expensive, but I do like schematics. Oh, you know, rocket you're rocket launcher. Business. Yes, you too. Good luck out there. And maybe the next time you'll find something interesting for me, huh? Maybe. But I gave you just more than a thousand caps. You should be happy about that too. Right. There are more caravan traders like him. And uh, who did we meet? Crow, I believe. They have sort of a base. Maybe we'll go there next because I kind of want to check them all out. They have interesting stuff to sell, as you just saw there, including schematics. But first things first, we gotta talk to Moira now. I think we can finally finish the Wasteland Survival Guide quest. Once and for all. I mean, we did go to the Robco facility, so let's talk to her now. Wait, that's Lucy. What hey. brings you back to Megaton? Hello there. Nice to see you. Oh, I delivered a letter. Oh, thank you for remembering. With everything that's going on, I almost forgot about it. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. But I got bad news as well, which... I cannot tell her? Lucy, your parents are dead and I can't even tell you. I have to go now. Oh, okay, well, anytime you find yourself back in Megaton, be sure and look me up. Right, she's a nice lady. A girl, actually. She's, well, she's pretty young. On the other hand, Clyde isn't that old either. Right. Ah, here's Moira. Do you even have a name, mercenary? Leave me out of that girl's crazy experiments. I don't get paid enough for that. <laughs> he has some sense. All right, hey there, Moira. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? You could say that. I reactivated the robots and even modified their programming. Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes? That's just the thing. Right. Tell me all about how it... How it worked? Well... Yeah... As always, we need to be a little bit snide here, so... Yeah, let's go with that. I caused the carnage, so it was okay, sort of carnage. Well, I guess one thing about using the old tech is that it can feel a bit like playing God. Mm-hmm. But you're probably not supposed to, I think. Seems like a good thing to watch for when dealing with tech of any age. And it helps to pack a few pulse grenades, just in case. Here, have a few. Oh, and take my book on science. For some reason, I just can't get into the computer parts. But I've got the rest pretty much memorized. To be fair, the computers are no longer that important in this world. Apart from hacking, I suppose, but... Most things are more practical nowadays and... Oh well. I guess chemical. On the other hand, uh, Well, the brother of Steel certainly is still using computers for archiving and whatnot. You know what? Forget about it. Moira, you should get back into IT, I think. Alright. If I have to research anything else, I'll just shoot myself. Well, lucky for you, we're done. And for all your nasty attitude, I think the quips made it a lot more entertaining to read. That's bound to help. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. Cool. I kept meaning to use it to dig a well, but honestly, it just makes me nervous. <laughs> if 
Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help. Sure thing. Let me guess, you need me to print it and distribute it as well, right? So cynical. <laughs> no, no. I can take care of all that with the few traders I know. What makes you think I'd force you to handle something so dangerous? Now you should just <laughs> lie back and bask in the praise for helping with the book. Right. So is the final product worth it then? Oh my! It's it's brilliant! Even I'm astounded by my genius. Oh no, 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 it's more than that. By our genius. Oh, thanks. I'll share these with the traders, and soon everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. But now, the very first copy of our book goes to you. It wouldn't nearly be as good without your input. You're the real Wasteland Survival Guru. Oh, all that praise is well deserved. And we got ourselves a special perk. Let's look at the perk now. See ya. Ah, right. What we got was the... Where is it? Where is it? Survival Guru. This is the highest rank that you can achieve, which you get by doing all the optional missions for her as well as the basic ones. You always get plus six to poison resistance and to red resistance. And the third bonus is different. Because we were snide, we got a higher critical chance. Uh, there are other useful ones like if you're very tough, you can get more damage resistance. But I think critical chance, you know, being on the offensive, is probably more important. Let's check out the survival guide. Hmm. Can't do anything with it. But this will actually return in the sequel to this game, funnily enough. Right. Well, that's the end to a really long episode. Uh, not episode. Quest line. But it was worth it, folks. Very much worth it. Now let's talk to her again. Hey, don't mind the smoke. <coughs> it's perfectly safe to breathe. <coughs> really? Okay, then. Do you have any specialty items? Do I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components, too, so you can make the weapon yourself. Don't worry about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. That's all right, I got my own workbench now. But yes, we're going to buy that. Absolutely. Let's see here, what else can we buy while we're at it? So here's the schematics for the rocket launcher. And we can... What does the laboratory do again? Let's get ourselves a... Oh, I think the jukebox can only play GNR. Let's get ourselves... Do I really need all these caps anyway? I think I can just buy everything, can't I? Let's get a nuka cola machine. And the laboratory. And we'll buy the jukebox last, because I'm not going to use it anyway. All right, yeah, let's get it. There we go. Good hunting. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Great. So yeah, we got the first schematic from Crazy Wolfgang and now the second one from Moira. So rocket launcher is almost perfectly upgraded as well and our home should be quite a bit nicer now. Though you can upgrade it even further, even once you've bought everything, including the jukebox. But we'll get to that. Well, once we got some more money, I guess. Oh, hey, Wordsworth. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? Do you have water for me? I'm sorry. No. A joke, maybe? Yeah, the two cannibals are eating a clown. One cannibal turns to the other and asks, Does this taste funny to you? <laughs> kind of like that one. My humor. Ah, you're so bad on humor. 
What about my first infirmary? We've used it already, but let let it, let him explain it a little bit. An innovation from MedTech. The My First Infirmary will automatically diagnose and treat any injury you might sustain. It will also make any of the pesky rads you've accumulated in the wasteland vanish instantly. Pretty good. What about the first laboratory? From the keen minds at MedTech, the My First Laboratory will instantly detoxify you, removing any nasty addictions from your body. Knowing what you're addicted to, it might blow out the program altogether. <laughs> if you're feeling the need to experiment, just set the lab to brew, and a day later it will produce a random, useful compound. Remember that while the lab is brewing, you can't use the detoxify functions. Ah, that's very useful. So it, we can use it to produce new new chems, basically. What about the nuka cola machine? The nuka cola machine will dispense ice cold nuka cola. Once you've dispensed eight of them, the machine will have to be restocked in order to make regular nuka colas ice cold. Yeah. So cold nuka colas are better in quality, but you have to recharge the machine with your normal nuka colas, basically. What about the workbench? If you come across any schematics in the wasteland, you'll be able to construct its contents on this specially designed table. Great. All right, thank you. I'll be sure and tidy up while you're away, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Robot. Domo origato, Mr. Roboto. Let's put any bobbleheads we've collected on here. Ah, ah look at that collection. It's growing. A bunch more. I still want to pick up all the remaining skills ones. Yeah, we'll get to that. Right, now, what about our schematics? I do want to create a rocket launcher, after all. What does it need? It needs a vacuum cleaner, leaf blower, fire hose nozzle, and a conductor. Okay. Conductor. Fire hose nozzle. Leaf blower, and I think a vacuum cleaner, right? I hope my memory isn't that bad. Alright. I also already created a new shish kebab for use. And here's our rocket launcher. Not really a weapon I use a lot, but it's an interesting concept. Look at that thing. As Moira explained, it will basically fire whatever you put in it. So I do think I have some crap here. To test it out. Let's just shoot it at the wall, I guess. Ah, gotta load it first, alright. Not gonna shoot my money, though. And you can pick it up again. Hmm. You know, I think I've gotta keep this and at least try it out. Mr. Chipper. There's no wood chipper in this. I guess he put it on. He added that. Okay. So, right. I'm gonna reload. And we're gonna put it away. <laughs> I also like that it makes the, the sound the whole time it's running. And here's a Nuka Cola machine. Get some nice Nuka Cola. Can just take it all. And now we got. Uh, hmm. Do I have normal Nuka Cola? No, I don't have any on me. But we cannot compare it. The refrigerator is broken after all. Or I guess maybe it does work, but whatever. Uh, so this heals 12 HP. Whereas the iced one heals double. It's kind of cool. Guess we'll just uh, put in like. Uh, I don't know. Does it really matter? Um, just put in like all in all 40. 32 plus 8. Add all Nuka Colas. There we go. And now we can just pick them up. They're cooled down immediately. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to store them again, I don't really need them on me right now, but it's a nice little addition, I would say. 
Got the big book of science we're gonna read in just a moment. And then, as I said earlier, once I have disposed of anything else I'm carrying, um, yeah, I'm just gonna hold on. Nah, I'm not. Um, once we're done here, we can actually make our way towards where all the caravans are coming from. Now, I'm not exactly sure where that place is, but I think we can probably find our way. Do I have some more crap that I can use as ammo? Yeah, I want to test it out at least, you know. Cartons of... Si no. Earnings clipboard, sure. Cups and empty syringes. These are all not worth a lot, so... Plunger. Wrench. There we go. Here we are. Alright. Oh, hold on. We have to check out our laboratory. Laboratory. Whatever you... Oh, however you want to pronounce it. I think both are correct, actually. And just quickly healing up. And here. Detoxifying and create new compound. Now this thing will automatically produce a new compound or a chem and you cannot select which one it's supposed to create but uh, yeah so it's random but um, I mean all chems are useful to a degree aren't they oh, hold on some more random crap just pick that up and put it in here there we go <laughs> so once we have you know, encountered all these caravan guys. We have been able to pick up some more of the valuable uh, schematics from them. Still, still crazy Wolfgang. For a moment there, I was hoping that maybe uh, somebody came, somebody else came in the meantime and replaced him, but no, nope, it's still crazy Wolfgang. Okay. So, I believe, again, I'm not sure, but I believe that uh, the caravan guys are coming from the east, like, uh, in that general area. Hmm. So, let's go to the minefield and then head east from there. Yeah. Or north, because there's something to unlock up there. Sure, why not? Hmm. Did I even check out all the buildings here? Sorry, I'm, I'm just getting distracted by all the things that are still left to do. Gibson House, I think I actually went in there. But let's also look at the other houses. Benson House. No, I was not in here yet. Cause one dog ain't enough, and two is too low. It's me, three dog. Bye bye, three dog. Too bad. Although, hold on, maybe he'll just talk about something. And here's me. <laughs> With the news. All right. Here's a question for all you faithful listeners: Have you guys and gals ever seen a tree? No, 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 not those shriveled black things. I'm talking real trees. Hmm. Brown bark, green leaves, photosynthesis, all that good stuff. Now what if I, the all-powerful three dog, bow, wow, wow, were to tell you that somewhere right here in the capital wasteland is a place with lots of trees. Hmm, interesting. A veritable oasis of green. That depressing sea of brown. Look, it was years ago, and I may have been experimenting with Jet at the time. Okay. But I'm telling you, it's out right. there. Huh. Until next time, this. An oasis out in a wasteland. Should probably probably try to find that place afterwards. Oh, that raider. Because that sounds interesting. 
actual oasis with green trees? Outlandish. We'll try to find that place afterwards. But first, I do actually want to get to the caravan headquarters. Also, this room is very depressing. Right. Ah, skill book. Precious skill book. Yeah, definitely worth coming here, I would say. Again, every little bit helps. There are so many skill books out there. We're gonna get to 100 in all skills eventually anyway, but... I mean, sure, the, 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 the earlier we get there, the better, right? So let's keep going north now, unlock whatever that place is, and then we'll head east. Unless I see something else I definitely want to go to, which could also happen. Yeah, if you've seen any number of these videos, you know that I'm easily distracted. Oh, okay, more mines talking about being distracted, right? Easily distracted, and uh, I'll just go to the next or nearest place that strikes my fancy. So, ooh, okay, this is huge. Is that like a factory or something? Looks like it. Could be interesting. No contacts anywhere right now. That's good. And there's like a small power station or substation maybe yeah it's a power station let's check that place out first a small smaller segment I think that should be easy to clear out quickly nothing around here but maybe inside yeah. well, it's a it's a schematic a railway rifle, look at that. Huh. That isn't worth coming here. What's a railway rail I can't pronounce things. What's a ra rail What's a train rifle gonna do? Well, you may remember that we picked up all these uh, these spikes for the railway. Uh didn't really have a use for it. For the most time. Maybe. No, no, I don't have the necessary parts. But maybe, just maybe, those uh, those spikes are useful for that. Who knows? Can I hack that? I can. But you remember our old trick, right? I still have Lesko's lab coat, giving me additional science capabilities. Let's hack that. Provision. No, let's use something with ing on the end. Okay, ing, everything with ing is wrong. And that's wrong too. And that's wrong too. Okay, forget it. Ah. Uh, protective. That looks good. How about procession? Yes! 5 of 10 and then 10 of 10. Perfect. Right, disengage lock. What lock? Is there something locked around here? Oh, for the safe. I get it. Yeah, I'm not good enough to open the safe. Okay. We'll use the disengaging via the computer instead. What do we have? No. It's not bad, but I was expecting something better, to be honest. Oh, well. We got our hands on a schematic, so I can't really complain at all. I don't think I want to, uh, although it doesn't look that big. I guess I could check out the area while we're here. <laughs> and we're never gonna find those headquarters, are we? Right, so there's this door. What about what about this uh, garage? That works too. Let's go in here. Got contacts. But I am hidden. Oh, 
will be interesting. Let's not forget to loot. What is that? Is that a ghoul? Yeah, I think it's a ghoul. A glowing one, even. Right. I don't think the uh, the humming of the machine will give us away. I'm curious how powerful this rocket launcher is actually going to be. Especially with the sneak critical. It's pretty far, but maybe we get lucky. Not very lucky. Not very lucky. Okay, it fires stuff in an arc. I don't really like that. No, no, no. Gotta take out the glowing one first. Damn it. It does nothing! It's way too weak! It's complete crap. Okay. Luckily, we got the shish up with us. We should be able to, maybe, make it out here alive. Oh no! Just figured out why I'm taking so much damage. I'm still wearing Lesko's lab coat. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot? That doesn't even make sense. I'm an, I'm an idiot. I'm idiotic. I'm... whatever. Right, let's use a... let's use a medics while we're at it and... Drink some whiskey. Yeah. Can't barely see them. Alright. Cut it. Not gonna die anytime soon. Alright. What have we learned? The rocket launcher is not that great. That's what we learned. I'm sorry to say. It's a it's a neat idea. But unless it's because, I don't know, maybe my skills for it aren't good enough or something. It doesn't seem to be that useful, honestly. Still, I am gonna try to, you know, get the remaining schematic. Just so that I can say I have it at level 3. Or version 3, I guess. Let's drink some precious water. And you know what? I think we're gonna end this episode here. We're gonna continue exploring this place in the next one. Once I've... Well, once I'm done drinking all this irradiated water here. So, see you next time, folks. Bye!